Hey guys, Deagle545 here, and uh, right now, I, I, I got a message, and uh, you know YouTube, I was perusing YouTube, and I got this message from Iron Pickaxe, maybe, what it was called, I can check right now if I wanted to, but I got a message saying, can you make a video on how to make a T-Flip Flop, and I am actually going to look right now at the the um, message, it's from Iron, Ion, Ion, Ion. Uh -huh. He said, T flip flop, would you make a video on how to make a T flip flop? And so I thought this was actually a great idea. I've always wanted to make these little redstone devices. And so right now I'm going to show you how to make a T flip flop. Uh, I did try to do this live commentary, but uh, it messed up. And so I'm just going to have to do a post commentary. But basically, I explained what a T flip flop is. Is basically when a redstone line receives a, a pulse that it will toggle an output so a pulse input will toggle an output and right here i show you how the button when you push the button even though the button's only a short pulse it will actually toggle the at uh, the output so it's uh permanent and so that what is the purpose of a t flip-flop so basically the cow wants to go through the door conveniently so you can push the button to give it a little pulse the door will stay open for uh forever and the cow can go off and do its you know its own stuff as you may so as I'm just gonna show you right now and try to remember what I was saying that um, how, it, how it is set up is that when the line like I said when the line receives something it's gonna turn off both torches the pistons are basically not gonna do anything and when, the, when the, the line you know the signal goes off the torches will turn back on and since the, nothing happened when they turned off when they turn on, the piston that's extended receives a block update, as you see here, and that the other piston has a chance to push the block that powers the thing. And so I just keep doing it back and forth to show you that it, it's it's not going to fail you. Very reliable device. Also could be used for like a pressure plate if you want to have this under your door so you can just walk in, and when you hit the other side it will close it automatically for you. That's also something you can do, and the possibilities are pretty... Uh, extraordinary when you think about what you can do with a T flip flop and so I don't know what I'm doing just standing around here but I show you that this that block is actually what's powering the redstone when the block is not over the redstone torch the output stays off but when you push the button the block will move on top of the redstone torch and turn on the output so this is how you build it you're gonna start I will start from the bottom I'll start with a block and a torch on it and that's what's gonna serve as your output those three blocks and the torch what you're gonna do is try to get a piston a piston two blocks apart from each other facing each other of course and that's what I'm doing here you could use other blocks you don't have to use pistons of course but so yeah, as you see here two blocks so one two they're facing each other that's what you need after you do that you want to make sure that there's a redstone line in that two, the two uh, wide gap. So you have to put blo some blocks down. As you can see, the two wide gaps right there. So you're gonna put down your torches on each side. Doesn't matter when, uh, which side. And so now it's gonna be in the off state because that's where the block is, you know, currently. And so we're just gonna hook up this uh, to a door to show you an iron door, of course. We get fancy here, and so we're gonna put some redstone on top. And uh, you could put like a repeater a pressure plate you can have a redstone line coming in however you please but for the purposes right now we'll just use a button and so when you hit it it switches like it should and so this is a very reliable way it's very simple easy and this is called a T flip flop just make sure I cover that somewhere in there I think I've already done it but I guess I shake my camera uh, very weirdly if that's even a word or ad adverb but that is the T flip flop in a nutshell I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I'd appreciate it if you just uh, throw down a comment and uh, hopefully I can get some more suggestions from you guys in the future so you know see you guys later